Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for the month of June 2018. Let's do this, yeah? All right, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces for this period of June 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, I'm seeing purple energy for you, wisdom, intellect, uh, spirituality. This is good. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. One more shuffle for you, Pisces. I don't know why. I'm seeing the image of Janet Jackson's Velvet Rope album cover. I don't know why. 
I mean, personally, I love Janet Jackson, and that's one of my, like, <clears throat> that is my absolute favorite album of hers of all time. I don't know. Some of you may connect with that. <laughs> that might be the soundtrack to your life right now. I don't know. Anyway, there's that little nugget. <laughs> all right, Pisces. <clears throat> Starting off your overall energy. Oof, you've got the two of cups in reverse. Okay. There could have been a breakup. Oh, damn. But we've got the lovers. And we've got the seven of cups upright. And then we also have judgment. Okay. Um, yes. All right. So here's what I'm picking up here, Pisces. There is a blockage within the physical uh, manifestation of this um, deep soulmate relationship here with the two of cups. Uh, the lovers, it talks about a choice. It's also talking about this deep relationship. But if you can see it here it, in this deck, these are literally the same individuals. You see that? Okay. Um, but the lovers is the lovers and the seven of pen. Oh, I'm sorry, the seven of cups is talking about um, choices needing to be made. Um, I'm seeing someone has a ton of options and is not really settling down or at least hasn't been settling down um and but that's going to be coming to an end soon with judgment there is a call being put out there this could be you pisces but this could also be someone else that you're in, uh, involved with there is a call that someone is starting to hear that's going to clear up all this illusion when it comes to the seven of cups Yeah, uh, there is a choice that needs to be made. And I was trying to see if I could pick up whether the choice has been made. Um, but for the most part, I'm hearing that it has not yet. But that's what judgment, the energy of judgment is in this situation. Okay, that's going to help bring this choice to it, to fruition. Oof, but look at that. We're starting off with the sun. So, okay, look, no matter how you're feeling about this situation, everything's going to be okay. And you've got the ace of pentacles. So a choice is going to be made. Okay, and the choice of a soulmate is going to be made, not these other superfluous individual. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to call people in superfluous, but when it comes to this situation, I mean, these other people do not compare. Like the connection with these other people is pretty is pretty insignificant when it comes to the connection between the two in this soulmate connection. Okay, like it just doesn't compare. Moving forward, we have the. Page of Swords, so someone could be watching you, Pisces, or you could be watching someone else. Yeah, and we've got the Queen of Wands. So someone is watching the Queen of Wands energy. Okay, for the most part, I feel like um, the Pisces Pisceans that are watching this right now are are the Queen of Wands. And so, if you are a Twin Flame, or you're a Fire Sign, um, or you're just a passionate person, you have a masculine energy that is watching you, keeping tabs on you trying to see what their options are. Now, these options that are in the Seven of Cups here doesn't have to be other people. I'm getting that right now. It doesn't. Because I'm picking up here that someone is watching whoever this Queen of Wands is um, in order to figure out the best way to come forward. Because in this situation, the choice has been made. You're just not physically together yet with the Two of Cups in reverse. But you are together um, in the 5D. Spiritually, you are within union with each other, but physically, you're not quite there yet. Moving forward, we have the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, with the Four of Swords. So somebody has come out of this uh, hiding, this respite, um, and they are starting to understand what their Wish Fulfillment is going to be, and I feel like someone is going to be moving to forward towards that. We've got uh, the Fool in reverse. So yes, somebody wants to take a leap of faith, um, but they feel like they can't right now. And the Nine of Wands. So they want to take keep, take a leap of faith and they're trying to figure out how to do it, okay? They're fighting on. They're pressing on. They're getting through any sort of emotions that are um, negative, low vibrational, so any sort of egoic um, mindsets that tells them that they can't do it. I really feel like somebody is fighting against themselves right now in order to be able to take this leap of faith. OK, so the illusions here depicted as the seven of cups could be, you know, fears surrounding not being able to take the leap of faith that they want to. OK, moving forward, we have the queen of pentacles right underneath the ace of pentacles and the sun. 
which is a good sign. And we have the Four of Wands, which is a union card, okay? So whoever is depicted as this Queen of... of Queen of Wands is also embodying this Queen of Pentacles energy. A good mother, okay, or father, um, a good spouse, um, someone that's compassionate and nurturing and wants to take care of the family, wants to provide for the family in somewhat of a feminine way. And we have a union card here, which is the Four of Wands. So we could definitely, I mean, we could definitely be talking about Twin Flames here. And I wonder, I wonder if the King of Wands is going to come out because in all of these Zodiac readings that I've been doing today, more times than not, when one came out, the other one did. So I'm interested in seeing if the king is going to come out now, yeah? Next, we have the five of wands in reverse. So um, releasing um, differing opinions, releasing inner conflict, okay? Passionate inner conflict. And this is not like it's five of swords energy where, you know, it's really super destructive. No, this is really just differing opinion. So this could be releasing um, or in the process of trying to choose uh, being in the process of trying to choose which way to move and we have the king of pentacles so all right we've got the counterparts here so yeah whoever is the queen of pentacles here is wifey material and the king of pentacles knows it oh he knows it and he's trying really hard to move forward towards it um he's releasing the He's releasing the inner inner conflict maybe even outer conflict in order to move forward um uh, now, I do want you guys to recognize that these two are looking away from each other right now, but that's because they're in their own spaces um, getting their things together, you know, getting their lives together uh, financially, materially, materially, whatever. We have the star in reverse. So, okay, a lack of hope, not seeing clearly. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did I say, guys? There's that king of wands. So this is, we're definitely talking twin flames here in some situations. If not, we're talking divine counterparts, um, soulmates, um, people that are really, really passionate about each other also. Um, the, the masculine energy here, or in, if you're in a twin flame situation, the divine masculine feels like all is lost, is feeling a real lack of hope. Okay. Um, but is also going through a period of healing. Um, and it's interesting because as these have fallen out in the past, um, the, the King of Wands was looking at the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands was looking away. Now we have the Queen of Wands looking towards the King of Wands and the King of Wands is looking away. And to me, that's saying like, it's a lack of, um, confidence, which is, which is, well, which makes sense because the King of Wands is in reverse. Because ultimately, when the King of Wands is upright, they are super confident. Like, you can't tell them nothing, <laughs> okay? Um, but the reason why the King of Wands is looking away is because he doesn't feel adequate. And he is in the process of healing that energy right now, okay? Now, please understand that when I say he or she, I'm talking about energies, not gender, yeah? But there's a masculine energy in this connection that doesn't it has kind of lost hope a little bit. But all is not lost. I mean, look, I mean, regardless of whatever negative energies you may be feeling, either of you, you have the sun, okay? And when the sun comes out, whether it's upright or not, and regardless of whatever negativity or icky stuff is going on in the rest of the spread, it's all going to be just fine, okay? Finally, Pisces, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. And to me, that's screaming, no more, no more procrastination with woo, the emperor, all right? So masculine energy is taking action. No more procrastination. The masculine energy is hearing the call. Hearing the call, guys, all right? Wow, this is so amazing. These readings today, I, I did like the last nine Zodiacs today. Um, I'm on the last one because Pisces is, Pisces is the last one in the Zodiac. Um, before we circle back to Aries, uh, but honestly, like the way things have been coming out in these readings have consistently been blowing my mind, guys. I mean, look, we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the King and the Queen of Wands. We've got the Two of Cups and the Lovers, which are basically two in the same, just the Lovers is Major Arcana and Two of Cups is Minor Arcana. And if you are a Twin Flame, um, I would suggest that you watch the video uh, for this this uh, current, 
well, the I don't know, depending on when you guys catch this video, because this is just for the month of June, but um, I would encourage you to watch the video, my Twin Flame video titled uh, Divine Feminine is Laying Low and Divine Masculine is Stepping into His Power. I mean, this is it right here. The Emperor with the Seven of Pentacles is not procrastinating anymore. It is stepping into his power. And those readings, whoo, 11-11 on the counter. Those readings, uh, I'm sorry, that, that, the, the twin flame readings that I'm doing, those are mirror readings. And the mirroring that came out in that video, guys, holy moly. I mean, it was, it, it was intense. Like, the, this is a big time, okay? There is a lot of shit happening right now for twin flames, divine counterparts, whatever, how it soulmates. I don't care. They're all just labels anyway, all right? So let's get into some action oracle guidance for you, Pisces, for the month of a June. All right. Spirit and unicorns, please bring forward the best message for Pisces for the month of June. Best message, please. Here we go. Expansion. Spread your wings and, and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you are made of. And for the most part, this is really a message for the masculine energy in this spread here. Just spread your wings. Let your truth be known. Be who you are, yeah? Expand. Be willing to grow. Don't let your fears and insecurities get in the, get in the way because that's really just your ego and trying to stop you. I mean, sure, it's trying to protect you from getting hurt or whatever, but follow your passions, yeah? All right, so uh, we're going to get into some spiritual guidance here for you, Pisces. From This is the Crystal Mandala deck, and then the one I just used was the, uni the Oracle of Unicorns. All right. So, spirit, best message. Four, Pisces. There it is, right there. And it did come out sideways and hit through the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm wondering, goodwill, okay. Goddess Gaia and Ocean Jasper. Now I don't remember which sign got this, but there was another sign that also got this. So that's pretty lovely. Goodwill, number 45. And I'm so sorry guys, I wish I could tell you which, I just don't remember. And I would recommend that you go watch it. Um, I will say, you know, I'll say again, um, check out your sun, moon, rising, and you could check out your Venus too, if you're looking for love information. All right, goodwill. We bring you the empowerment of goodwill. There is a type of spiritual power you can co-create, which benefits and protects your protects you whilst mutually empowering others to take their journey and experience divine success. That is directly relating to expansion, where it says, share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you are made of. Yeah. This spiritual power, known as goodwill, is generated by how you feel inside and the attitude you cultivate towards others. When you know you have value, it's easy to recognize the value in another. When you feel encouraged by the universe, it is easy to encourage others. As you put out support, encouragement, and goodwill for the success of all beings, this energy is amplified and returned to you. Okay, so again, masculine energies, divine masculine, do not let your fears Get the best of you. Shine your light. Show up for yourself. Like, not even for your divine feminine. Like, show up for yourself, bro. Like, do you. Don't let nobody tell you what to do. You're the motherfucking emperor, okay? You can do whatever, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> All right? Just don't get manipulative about it. But still, you know, like, step into your power, man. Like, do your thing. Show up for yourself and show up for the world and show up for the, the person that you love. Yeah? All right, guys, there is your reading for the month of June. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of July. Yeah, take care. Bye.